Ndukwe yet again. Excellent game for Ndukwe in the slot. He's got six catches for 102 yards and a touchdown. Samante so Ndukwe putting his foot on this stat sheet. 5.50 to go in the third quarter. It's a first down from the 47-yard line and a handoff to Ndukwe. He can even run the ball today. Ndukwe picks up five on the carry, second down. Five thirty to go in the third quarter. Twenty-seven fourteen Corsairs. Everett, dangerous pitch to Collins. Great open field tackle brings up third down one. Next week, these two teams have some big games. DC goes to Louisville, and Queen City hosts Edmonton. Those are some big games for these ball clubs. They they want to get as many wins as they can. And it starts with winning the day. That is another first down for the Spartans as three minutes have ticked off the clock here in the third. DC trails by 13. Screen pass in traffic. Going nowhere in the backfield for a loss of four yards. Starks makes the big tackle. Everett, hitch, that's going nowhere. Third down, 16, the Corsair defense is all over the place. Everett out of the gun. Everett back to throw, Everett looking. Pressure coming, complete, gotta make a tackle. And they do make the tackle, fourth down and two. Everett completes to Justin McKinley, but he ran his Route short of the first down. I imagine we'll see a field goal here. This one is from 48 yards away. It's an important kick, and the kick never had a chance. Right the entire way. And Queen City gets a defensive stop, and it's first down. Red Feather out of the gun, trying to put this game away. First back in motion from left to right. Red Feather back to throw. Red Feather looking. And a miscommunication again between McGrew and Legacy as he overthrew both. They almost ran right into each other trying to make the catch. And it's second down. Red Feather to throw. Wide open is Chavez. To the DC 45 yard line. In the end, when we look back at this game, it's going to be the DC defense that we look at letting this team down right now. The offense has put up two passing touchdowns and have only turned the ball over one time, but this defense cannot stop the Corsairs right now. Reed in motion. Brad takes the handoff. Brown. Brown to the 30 to the 20. 15. Down to the 10 yard line. Brad Brown, 16 carries for 121 yards in Tony Anderson's absence. First down and 10 to the 11 yard line, and Queen City is perfect in the red zone despite just one touchdown in the red zone today. Brown takes the handoff. Brown pushing ahead down to the 8 yard line, second and seven. Three ten to go in the third. Red Feather under center trying to increase their lead. Toss play to Brown. Brown to the 10. Brown to the 5-yard line. Third down 5. Looked like he was going to turn the corner and score. Third down 5 yards from the 6. Red Feather to throw. Red Feather looks. Is hit as he throws. And it should have been intercepted and it's not. The Spartan defense misses another big opportunity to force a turnover. 
And the field goal for Queen City is just good. That just barely snuck in the right side. Seven plays, 63-yard drive, and a 23-yard field goal. But with D.C. holding Queen City to a field goal, it's just a two-score game, 16-point margin. Spartans' offense has got to do something because their defense isn't doing anything. Missed opportunity after missed opportunity as Porter returns to the 23. Over the middle, Everett tried to throw it to Rousseau and it's tipped and incomplete. Second down and 10. High formation, Everett to throw. Everett quickly throws it. Good job. And a fumble recovered by Queen City. What a disastrous time to have a turnover. Jaquise, who had the interception, also forces the fumble, and it's first down Corsairs with a two-score advantage. The Spartans just look like a team that's lost right now. Brad Brown is in the Wildcat. Brown will hand off to Kirby, and Kirby's going to lose yardage second and 11. Red Feather hands off to Brown, and this time Brown just a one-yard gain on the play. Third down and 10. Queen City in this game is four of nine on third down. Red Feather back to throw, and that pass is knocked away, and another missed opportunity to get an interception. So here's a field goal from 53 yards away. Queen City three of four, but the long is 40. Arnold's kick is up and just to the left. Both of his misses are from 50 yards out or more. And DC holds and keeps it a two-score game. As you can see, that kick was very close. He certainly had the leg for it. 142 to go in the third, and the Spartans have another chance. Play action. Everett back to throw over the middle, and he was not looking. That is Tyrone Harrington. He was not even paying attention second and ten. Everett under center with two backs in the backfield. Everett hand off to Collins. Collins just too, took too long to cut up field. Third down. DC five of nine on third down. Everett under center. They need a third down here badly. Heavy blitz. Everett pressure. Throws. Caught. First and ten. In Duke way again. Everett out of the shotgun. Ever back to throw. Hit as he threw in Duque again. First and ten. Everett, while he has looked sporadic at times today, has looked the best when he's got pressure in his face. He has really gotten away some good throws. Everett under center. Kirk Wicksky from left to right. And off to Collins, and Collins again just cannot find the scene. Second down, nine yards to go as the third quarter winds down and comes to a close. And off to Collins. Collins, third down, five. Everett looks open in Duque inside the 15. Zamonte and Duque 
is the player of this game for DC so far. It's been a very quiet day for Justin McKinley. Two attempts in the red zone and two touchdowns, both by Everett. Last play of the third quarter, Everett back to throw. Can he make it three? Everett to the end zone. Almost caught on a second chance by Brunson. And that leaves one second on the clock, second and ten. Everett looks. It is a throw and it's intercepted. That could be brought back all the way to the 50. 45-40 and finally tackled into D.C. territory. Another big interception thrown by Everett and Queen City looks mighty impressive up 16. down for the Corsairs at the DC 38. It's all or nothing now here for the Spartans. Red Feather to throw. Red Feather going deep. Legacy in the end zone. Touchdown! Joseph Red Feather has looked like Superman in this game as Legacy gets his first touchdown catch and the Queen City Corsairs are running to third place in the Eastern Conference. Extra point is up and good, and it is 37-14. And it would take a big comeback from the Spartans now. From the two-yard line. Return out just past the 20. Fontaine with a 19-yard return. First down for Everett. Trips to the left side. Everett back to throw. Everett looks, completes to the 25, to the 28. That's Rousseau with his first catch, gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Later tonight, the Green Bay Thunder take on the Edmonton Chill. Green Bay playing their first game with, without owner Jeremy Akita and the seven suspended players for the rest of the season. Can Edmonton get to six and eight and continue their season turnaround? Find out 8.30 p.m. kickoff time right here on the WAFL Network. Everett's pass, not enough air. Third down and two intended for McKinley. Arrington, who had two picks last week, knocks it down. Look at DC's third down percentage, seven of 11. But the two interceptions have cost him. Everett hand off to Collins. Collins gonna get the first down to the 35, to the 38 yard line, first and 10. DC going no huddle, Everett back to throw. Everett looks over the middle, fires complete. That's another first down for D.C. This one into Corsair territory as Parks makes the reception. Last week, and actually the last WAFL game, Vegas had a 28-3 lead in the third quarter, and Charlotte scored 22 straight points to end that game. So it is certainly not impossible. Everett back to throw. Everett looks wide open. He dropped it. Parks dropped it. That was an instant touchdown. That would make the not top 10 no matter what week this game was in. Option play to Everett, and he's going to be dropped in the backfield for a loss of three. What a big drop.
Third down and 13. Everett escapes the pressure and almost threw 